My dear fellow group members of the day, my dear colleagues from P63 Foundation Training, it's really an awesome, an awesome moment from every one of us as we are here for a vibrant and awesome presentation topic. Now, at first, I would like to give you salam, assalamu alaikum, peace be unto you. I am Mahmoudul Hassan, Assistant Superintendent Police, would like to give today's presentation. The topic of today's presentation is social sentiment programs as study on phenomenology. Now, the context that we are going to talk about is the introduction, objectives of the study, scope of the study, methods, findings, case studies, limitations, conclusions, and recommendations. I don't want to see a sister crying for food for her mother. I really don't want to see a brother kind crying for food for his mother. This is the common scenario in our country for the last 10 years or last decades, which have been changed radically, dramatically within these years. And one of the basic reasons of that change is social sentiment project. Now, for that reason, Bangladesh Academy of Rural Development, they have sent us as youngster, 10 youngster to a specific village by the name Penua, to explore the present condition of social safety net programs and to evaluate the situation and to recommend something about it. The objective of the study, we have to know it very much clearly because if we can't explore the present situation of the village, we don't, we can't find the clear evidence that what is really happening in their village specifically. By outer world, you can't see that because many times the statistics given by so many people are wrong because many times they are being biased by so many influences. The identifying the need of the vulnerable people. One third is the people who are getting safety net program fruits, and the other is vulnerable who are not getting because of so many problems in the society, political problems, problems from the pressure of the other powers, etc. Now, the step of that this context is that present scope of settlement programs is to be explored through and monitoring or and evaluating the problems, the strategies is needed too. Now, the differentiation between the evaluation, objective, and scope, we have to mention it quite clearly. Because if we don't know the scope, then the application of proper selection of procedures selecting vulnerable groups is not possible. We need to aware people about their rights, about their findings, about their fruits, that what they can get from the society, what they can get from the government. For that reason, it is one of the basic scopes here. The motivation is needed. We all know that there, there are so many people in the society who are living in the society, but they really can't get contact to the benefit they can get from the cooperative society, from the government. So in that context, we can learn about the, we can make people understand to motivate them. Methods. We have used so many methods for extracting the information regarding social sentiment projects. The methods are transit walk. We and our team members, we work transversely through the village. And we have explored the indigenous technology, the topography, soils, and vegetation of the village. The second method is social and resource mapping. One of the members of us, he's an engineer, and he helped us in circulating the map, in drawing the map, sketching the map. And he has taught us that we must know about some specific component like infrastructures, housing patterns, irrigation, land use, etc. Problem identification and ranking. By discussing the people, we have learned about that in that society, in our village, there are many problems which are going on. But people, they are in fear to talk with us. I was talking to the members of that village. They were talking that if we tell you about that specific thing, we would be hammered. So for that time, I was talking to 
to them that give us information. We, you feel free because we are here for you. And they, they have given a lot of information we, they, they don't give to the respective person of the society. Ben we have sketched a diagram too, according to the uh, importance or according to the wider realms of specific components or specific segment programs. Focus group discussion. It's really a matter of great regret that that society doesn't contain any cooperative society. So, one of the member, he was from a cooperative society in another village. He has come to meet us to give information about it. So, we have gathered focus group discussion from him. Seasonal calendar, segment programs that were existed in that village and are existing, it runs in the whole year. Findings. We have found that the village is really not so much bigger. I mean, it's uh, small in size. You can see that it's only 1.4 square kilometer. And the north of the village is Dhanwash and Joshpur village. The south is Barura and Shakpura. East, Dhanwash and Shakpura. West, Barura and Joshpur. The number of household in the village is approximately 160. It's just an assumption from people because we are not there to uh, extract the exact statistics from the, from the village. The number of population is uh, 1,200 approximately, voters 500. Profession, I was asking one of the members of the village that um, what's one of the people that go to abroad in which countries? And they are telling me that it is the Middle Eastern countries that normally go. And their main source of money is from those countries. Literacy rate, 42 percent. You can imagine, it's not in the standard. But the problem is, if you go to the household and go to the house, they are really much more rich. So we are asking that you people, you guys are not educated, but you are you are rich, and they are saying that it's because of the currency that we get from abroad. And uh, I've seen one of the members there. His age may be 60 up, and he's using a smartphone. And he is saying, in his smartphone, I've seen a video that I could never imagine. I mean, a video about the expressway. He has six minutes video. I said, I'm an educated person, but I haven't got that video. But you, you, you've got it. So you are upgraded than me in that context. Transit man. You can see that uh, on the basis of the soil height or level, uh, we have gathered information on that uh, what type of crops that uh, are being grown in that village. And uh, you can see there are so many crops there. But the main thing is the problems. I mean, when it comes to the lowland, the problem is water scarcity in dry season. I was asking that during the dry season, what is the source of your water? And he was telling me that it is the Groundwater. It's the underground water. I, I said it's really cost, costive for you. And he said that uh, no, we normally try to collect it from the whole village to like call this pump. And uh, the high, very high, medium, it has also problems like sandy soil, infertile sandy soil, water scarcity, and dry season. And they are using those lands with potentials in aquaculture gardening. Uh, and Diversification of crops is there for medium types of crops. Social and resource map. It's not, you have seen that, uh, I've talked to you already that this village is really a small, small village. And uh, the village has got only uh, one kindergarten. It hasn't got uh, a single number of primary school even, leave as a high school. So, so I've talked, talked about the literacy rate, they normally go to the other village to study. When it comes to talking about the electricity system, I have asked one man that, what about the electricity system and uh, in which year you have got it? And he said that it's only 15 or 20 years ago. Before that, we didn't have any um, uh, electricity facilities. In this pie chart, I would like to mention that only 40% from the village is under the social safety net programs. 
I was telling them that your, your acquisition of the SafeNet programs includes a lot of people and you can induce yourself in that. They are saying that we are not getting enough opportunity for that because of the clash between the chairmen, clash between the members. For, for that reason, they are excluding us as like a sledgehammer. And we have found that old age allowance is the biggest amongst all. And the second one is widow allowance. And Freedom Federal allowance is only one member. This is the Venn diagram. And uh, we have shown here, they have got no bank to collect their uh, social safety net fruits. So they have to uh, go to the court bury area for that bank. And according to the uh, number of uh, fruit receiver, we have made the diagramic figure. Problems identification and ranking. By discussing more than 10 to 15 people in that area who are really aged, maybe uh, more than 50 years age, and they were telling us about many problems. Like uh, five problems are mentioned here. There are many other problems that are inferior in our social context, and we have no solution. For that reason, we haven't mentioned it here. The main problem we have found talking to them is the nepotism. They are saying that the chairman, the members, they are collecting their people, their own uh, disciples for this certain programs. So they, they are not really, uh, getting enough opportunity for include themselves in that project. And the second thing is political matters. You know, it's going on in each and every single part of our country. We have talked about that. The third is proper monitoring. We are expecting, as a community leaders, that our people, general people, they would get enough opportunity in all aspects. And we have heart. But because of the system, we normally aren't being successful about it. And for that to be proper monitoring, because of, there are so many reasons for that, that we can't proper monitor because of the local problem, problem with the higher state, etc. And the least is the insufficient budget. Why I put it in fifth position? Because the government, government is trying. You know, there are so many projects going on in the um, whole country, in lots of villages, they are getting fruits. But because of those four problems, this insufficient budget, I put it in the fifth position. Case study. You know, we have talked about so many people and what we have thought that who is vulnerable when it comes to much more, who has suffered much more atrocities in life. One of the person, his name is Mr. Fazlur Rahman. His age is more than 75. He was, he was telling that my age is more than 100. But we, we have talked about other people about his age and they are saying that uh, maybe the 75 plus. That is what we have mentioned earlier. And you know, he has talked about lots of experience in his life. He said that there was a time, there was a time when he was not getting uh, food once in a day. He's saying that I trust a life like that. He was begging. He said during the time of the Asha government, he said he, he was a beggar. And uh, by the social acceptance programs, this changed a lot. And he said his favorite food is sweet. Sweet meat, but in that time he hasn't got money to eat that sweet meat. And he said, Now, after getting the social setting of fruit, I've got it, and I really enjoy eating sweet meats. We do an answer to her. Her name is Kyron Nessa, age 65. She lost her husband 20 years ago, and she has said that we her children. What miserable situation she has faced in her life. She explained that uh, she was working uh, in other houses as like a slave. And they were beating her. They were making mockery of her in all that context. And she is saying that after getting the benefit from the social settlement program, uh, she is now happy. And she said that she is saving money for her children to uh, give them enough support. Limitation of 
animal study. We have tested with nutrition, and all we know very well that uh, high shortage, we know that experience from us, because not all of us are well experienced about that field. Those who have uh, examined previously in, ma in many villages in the country, they know it very much well. But on the context of some others, specifically on um, applied sectors, they know it very well. But when it comes to the theoretical sectors, those people or those participants from us, they are not really uh, well aware of the system that they are using. And when it comes to the sample research, it is quite difficult because we have asked so many people about so many things and they are really confused to give the information about their village. Very much confused. Even they really don't know that whether the cooperative society really exists in the village. Aged person, aged 60 or they really don't, don't know. So it's quite difficult for to carry such an um, uh, instruction or information from them because they are a bit confused. Because we have um, some of the thing we have timeline or mentioned, we couldn't mention it here because the people that one man is saying one information, the other is rejecting it. So that's the reason it's quite a uh, confusing situation that we have faced already. And now we want to conclude by saying that the people in that village, they are getting set-net programs, but in small number. Compared to the uh, number present in that village, it's, the number is really small. So more people needed to be included here. And how can we do that? The way that we can do that is by extracting the proper statistics from the village. That how many of the villagers, they are really living under the standard of uh, life. I mean, what standard the um, other countries, they are imposing upon us, which we are called as standard of life. Now, um, there are many sectional programs which is being run in the whole country, which that specific village hasn't got it. So the government uh, must think about them. Because uh, I have seen many of the people, they are not included in the secondary program, but still they are, they are living life miserably. So more secondary programs is needed, programs are needed. Exact statistics, I have told you already that uh, the statistics some of the time that we got, we get normally, it's not of the standard statistics. People, they can be biased. So exact statistics uh, is needed for selecting helpless. Political influence must be stopped. It is the common sentence in each, of, in each and every single sector. But uh, it's quite difficult, but still, we can minimize that. Quality education is needed. That village, you know, it, it hasn't got a high school or a government primary school even. So if the government did emphasize on that thing, the things will be changed. Social awareness by fostering Nikein meeting booklet. There are many projects that are going on. If they work properly, then the situation of the country would change when it comes to the social settlement programs. So I told you already that the people there themselves really don't know about it. accountability. You know, both those who are serving the people, they must be accountable. Because if they are out of accountability, they can do anything. And we, we see the uh, fruits of not being accountable, what are dangerous and uh, uh, sarcastic, I would say, because they are mainly making all the people as their inferior human being. So, by these words, I would like to finish uh, my presentation today, and uh, I would like to urge you, if you have any questions, uh, you must ask me. Thank you. Thanks to Mr. Mahmoud Hassan and for that presentation. Now, the floor is open for question and answer. Please produce a question in front of uh, our presenter, uh, Mr. Mahmoud Hassan. And I'll, I'll have to come up and you, you also can uh, participate during the question and answer. Uh, on behalf of the group, you can answer the question when we have to place question. Yeah, please. <laughs> Last presentation, so before the last day of the program. 
Okay, if there is no question from audience, then I will. Uh, first of all, I uh, I congratulate you for the nice presentation. I have no, uh, no comments on your presentation. <laughs> you have very nicely presented, very articulate way you have presented the, you have followed all the manners, how to present a good presentation. Huh? So um, I am confused, but I, I have a question that you, you have gone to the photo of the village. One of the most important uh, thing of the social safety net, that is the grievance. Grievance. In, though there is a version level of uh, social safety net, each and every program has their operation manual and there is some uh, the, 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 the way how to mitigate the the events. Uh, so have you uh, uh, but in, in your report I didn't find any uh, any sort of events uh, you, have, you have talked to many uh, people uh, but I don't find anything regarding the events. Uh, so, have you? Uh, I think it may be in your report, but you know, though it is not in your presentation, but have you got any, any, anything about the grievance uh, regarding the social safety net? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we have found out so many grievances. I have already uh, uttered about some problems regarding their access to the government persons. These are no, these are being uh, you know they are being hammered for that reason that they must not go to the government service by their local leaders because if they go to that place the government servant would give them, you know opportunity to express their problems. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There is grievance, yeah. but it is not in a formal uh, way. Uh, if, uh, in formal way, if there is grievance, uh, I must. Uh, give any detail uh, to any uh, any authority yes. uh, because there are the many authorities. Uh, um, you can mention uh, the name of some uh, some social safety net uh, program running by the uh, different ministry of the government. Yes, sir. VGD. VGD. Activate <laughs> BGD program under which ministry? No, no. BGD under Ministry of Women Affairs, Women and Child Affairs. BGD. BGD. Only it allows social service and Ministry of Social Welfare. So different ministry they are working for uh, social service. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, very short time. Only one day's feeling uh, work. But after that, I think uh, uh, you said that we had a uh, very nice uh, report. So I again congratulate the group J, the members of the group J for their uh, Effort. Though there is a very scope to improve the, the reports, but uh, but I can consider that it is the time constraint. If there is a more time, normally we people conduct a study one year or two years, but you people conduct a uh, study on uh, three days effort or two days effort. So I think uh, you, uh, you have done a very tremendous job. So I again come.
prepared uh, cooperation to conduct the session as possible. So 